we limited it to 400 kilometers for safety regulations. <laughs> Hour is uh, accelerate zero to one, uh, sixty mile per uh, uh, one point six nine with uh, and the top speed is four hundred kilo kph and uh, the horsepower is two thousand twelve twelve horsepower and uh, uh, we have four motor and uh, of course we, we are very concerning the very uh, aerodynamics. So we, we, we can achieve the 400 km per, uh, per hour. This car is 2.9 million euros, so very expensive. So, so very ex uh, rich people. Yes. But, but uh, in our research, the, the full people is maybe uh, they have the, uh, 20 cars or 30 cars, and, and they have the garage, and so very very uh, like the car, the people. And of course, and in the US or in, in the Europe, uh, Switzerland, and of course in the Middle East, some area. A lot of times we talk about cars, it's about the next generation. This one's not about the next generation. This is about the next level of Corvette. It's 495 horsepower. It's 635 newton meters of torque. It's got a zero to 100 speed of 2.9 seconds. It'll do the quarter mile in 11.2 seconds. Top end, about 312 kilometers per hour. It is one supercar performance machine. Of course the design was the first thing, but moreover the design of the car, it's really about creating a brand. So for us the inspiration from uh, the mythological creature, the dragon, this is our main focus. The soul of the dragon, different design elements, features, uh, the ferocity, and we also want to adapt this not only to the design, the aesthetic side, but also to the performance.
each car to be marketed after the engine. So Dracoma would be the fire dragon and it's gonna have an internal combustion engine. Hopefully in the next car we would do electric, that would be a thunder dragon. So that's really where we play a bit with the brand. But uh, no, it will have the internal combustion V8, twin turbo, 1200 horsepower, uh, limited to 99 units only and full carbon fiber body, exterior, interior, top composites, leathers, and each car, we want customers to go crazy with design. It's the car that created the brand and today is the car that established finally the whole brand strategy with the Range Rover about refinement, luxury, discovery about versatility and Defender about durability. So now that Defender is out, the whole strategy is very clear. The world has changed, people have changed, social landscape has changed, uh, people's needs uh, have changed. Uh, what is important is the essence of the car, the spirit, uh, the, the pioneering spirit of the vehicle and the new Defender uh, delivers just that. It's, it's a vehicle that um, it's more usable today, it's a vehicle that will take you literally anywhere.